Hey there folks, this is the Outdoor Gear Review and my name is Luke. Thank you guys for tuning in for this episode where I talk about how to use rope-based suspension systems for hammocks with trees. That way that the trees are not harmed and also it will extend the life of your rope-based suspension system. Go ahead and get comfortable. Let's get started. Now folks, as you guys can see here, I'm enjoying the day in my hammock and with this hammock, I am using a rope-based suspension system. Now, what I'm going to show you here is a way to protect the trees from the type of harm that ropes generally provide. Some people will tell you that hanging in a hammock with a rope-based suspension system will not harm a tree. And the truth is that you may not see any immediate damage, but on the inside of this tree, there are issues. For one thing, you are weakening the bark on the outside of the tree when it is compressed tightly like that. You are creating an area for disease and parasites to affect that tree. So just because you don't see any damage doesn't mean that there isn't any. When considering the potential damage from using a suspension system such as this, you have to remember that not all trees are created equal. Not every single tree is a hardwood, right? You have softwoods. You have the pines, the birches, the aspens, and trees like that are much softer and they're much easier to damage. With all of that being said, I will go ahead and show you how to protect the trees and extend the life of your rope-based suspension system. It's very, very simple. Right here is the solution, my friends. We have some nice sticks, we have some pieces of wood, and basically what we are going to do is stick them underneath our rope-based suspension system so that the wood that we're placing here, the sticks, they will distribute the weight of your load, your body, of you, around this tree instead of it having being directly focused in one spot. Now, as you can see here, I've taken these pieces of wood and I've placed them underneath my paracord suspension system, which is rope based, of course. Just like that, this tree is being protected, but so is my paracord suspension system. It is not rubbing against this rough bark. It is not getting torn up. This will last much, much longer because of this right here. All of my body weight when I'm laying in my hammock is spread out over these pieces of wood. As I hop inside of my hammock here, the camera will be focused on my line here. That way you can see how it gets pulled tight and how the weight is spread out over the area of the tree instead of just that one spot, thanks to those sticks. Now, as soon as I hopped into the hammock here, you guys could see how my weight tugged on the rope and how it pulled close to that tree really, really tightly. You could also see how the weight from my body here is prevented from being distributed into that tree. And that is how that system works there. You know, some people will tell you, oh, it's no big deal. You're only talking about one night of hanging. And the truth is maybe one night wouldn't do all that much damage. But think about the long run. Think about popular trails such as the Appalachian Trail. Imagine how many people are using hammocks and imagine all those nights of people hanging with ropes. That's a lot of damage over time. So folks, right there you have it. That is how you could use rope-based suspension systems with your hammock on trees without damaging the trees. It's all about coexisting with Mother Nature and not destroying it, you know, not harming anything. That's the way I see it. If you guys have any questions for me, you know what to do. Until next time, everybody, take care. Strength and honor.